Amen. Turn with us, amen, to the book of Proverbs chapter 3. Amen. We're going to look at one verse there. We do thank God for each of you. Amen. And for those that will be uh, viewing the telecast. Man, we thank God for you. We want to encourage you uh, that Jesus is the way. He's not a way. He is the way. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so we thank God for uh, each of you today. I want to look at Proverbs chapter 3. And I want to look at the sixth verse. It is a uh, familiar uh, passage of scripture we quote it all the time amen but there is so much uh, power amen in the word of the Lord Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths I'm going to read it again, and I'm going to read it this time from the Amplified Version of the Bible, amen, because I kind of like what, uh, how the writer uh, styles the verse, amen, it gives us a little something else to kind of think about. Uh, in verse 6 of the same chapter, and this comes from the Amplified Version, it says, In all of your ways know, hallelujah, recognize and acknowledge him, and he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. Bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. I said that I want to talk about Jesus is the way. Man, not a way, but he is the way. Amen. The Amplified said that we need to know what uh, our ah, thanks be unto God. So it is uh, to have respect, to know, to appreciate. Uh, it is to recognize. Uh, it is to honor. Um, it means for them to be acquainted with. Uh, I wonder is there anybody here uh, that have an acquaintance with the Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, amen. And when you are acquainted with somebody, uh, you know who they are. You recognize their voice. Uh, amen. They can call you on the phone. Uh, they don't have to give their name uh, because there is an acquaintance. Uh, amen. We've been in fellowship together. Uh, amen. When you call the Lord, uh, amen, will he answer you? Uh, are you re are you in harmony with him? Uh, are you in relationship with him enough uh, uh, that you can call him, that he knows uh, exactly who you are? Um, do you honor him uh, with your life uh, by the way that you live? Uh, see, praise the Lord, you can't live any kind of a way and then honor God. The Bible says, be ye holy, for I am holy. So in other words, what God loves, he loves holiness because that's what his nature is. That's who he is. We said in the Sunday school this morning, the writer says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. I need to recognize that I'm here because of God's mercy. I need to understand that it's not what I did. It's not my great education. It's not the job that I have, but it is the goodness of the Lord. It's him, praise the Lord. He is the reason why I am here. He's the reason that I have a sound mind. He's the reason that I have activity of my limbs. Can you shout hallelujah and give God a praise in the building today? So I need to recognize that is God's goodness. I need to understand that Jesus is 
He is the way. And so this word Noah, it further means, uh, I said to be acquainted with, uh, it means also uh, to acknowledge. Uh, in other words, you need to acknowledge God. Uh, amen. The, the preacher said, uh, amen, praise God. Uh, amen. To acknowledge God, uh, amen, in your youth. Uh, amen. You need to acknowledge who the Lord is. Uh, amen. I see we got young people in the audience today. Uh, thank God for you. Amen. But take some time uh, and to acknowledge the Lord. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? Because the devil, uh, he has a trap set. Uh, he wants to destroy not only young folk. He wants to destroy, amen, anybody that he can. Uh, so it behooves you and I, amen, to acknowledge God, to honor him uh, with our life. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Ah, glory be to God. In the word no further means, uh, it means to know uh, the value of something. Uh, amen. And Jesus has prayed a great Christ. Uh, amen. He has given us salvation. Uh, amen. It's a great, and so praise the Lord, uh, when you know the value of something, uh, amen, if somebody gives you a diamond ring uh, or a ruby or something like that, uh, amen, something that's of great value, amen, you don't treat it any kind of a way. Uh, amen. You don't put it on your hand, uh, on your finger, um, amen, and then go out uh, and start working in the garden, uh, digging the flower bed. Uh, why? Because because you know the value of it, uh, amen, that it is, a, it's a valuable item, uh, amen, but you cherish it, uh, amen, most folks are buy a particular kind of case, uh, amen, to keep it in, uh, they don't put it with the other stuff, uh, you may have some costume jewelry, uh, some look-alike stuff, uh, amen, but you don't put the real stuff uh, with that, that's a look-alike, uh, can you shout hallelujah and give God a praise, uh, so you put it in a special place, uh, because you know the value of it. Uh, well, listen, praise the Lord. We got something more valuable uh, than rubies and diamonds. Uh, we got salvation. Uh, we got sonship. Uh, amen. We got kingship. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? So therefore, you ought not to treat it uh, in a kind of a way. Uh, can you shout glory to God uh, and give him praise in the house today uh, because there was a great uh, sacrifice paid uh, so that we could enjoy uh, amen, life eternal can you shout hallelujah so uh, I need to respect it I need to honor him I need to appreciate what the Lord has done from you and I there ought to be a great appreciation when I, he let me open my eyes my mouth on the flower Lord I thank you because you did it again you didn't have to do it for me but you did it for praise the Lord ah, so there is amen I got one more for you praise the Lord amen the word no further means. Uh, amen. There's another Greek word uh, for this same word. Uh, uh, the, the writer said, uh, amen, the word no means. Uh, it's a para paracletos. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's spelled P-R-A-E uh, K-O-L-O-U uh, H-E-S-A-S. Uh, in case I kind of messed it up a little bit, uh, that's the spelling of the Greek word uh, for no. Uh, K-N-O-W. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I got that one. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, well, the word no means uh, it means, praise the Lord, to know. Uh, it means to know all about. Uh, how many, praise the Lord, know something about God? Uh, have you had some experiences with him? Uh, can you shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord. It means to know. Uh, it means to know all about. Uh, amen. We'll never know all about him. Uh, but praise the Lord, while I'm walking down here right now, I'm studying, learning some things uh, about him, uh, about his character, about what he will do uh, for his children. Uh, I'm still constantly learning. Uh, amen. He's teaching me. Uh, amen. He's leading me. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? So it further means to know all about us. Uh, it means to fully know. No, uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. It means to understand. Uh, God, I understand. Uh, I understand that you got some purpose uh, for my life. Uh, I understand uh, that even though you allow some tests to come, uh, I understand that you allow some trouble to come, uh, but you got some purpose for me uh, because I understand that you are. You are the way. Uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, and that without you, uh, I can do nothing.
nothing. And so I understand. I thank you for that understanding. I couldn't get that on my own. It was because of you. You are the greatest of all. Amen. You are the one. Amen. So it further means to know all about it. It means to fully know it. It means further. The word know, K-N-O-W. It also means to follow. Mm, my God, my God. Hey, praise the Lord. And the Bible says, amen, that, 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 that he, fed, he, fed, he he led them. Can you shout hallelujah? He led them by the right way. And in order for somebody to lead you, you got to be willing to follow. Can you shout hallelujah? Amen. You got to be willing, amen, to go where they go. Amen. When they said turn, how many of you got some GPS? Mm, yeah. uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you don't know the way, amen, you can punch in where you're going. You can punch it in the GPS. And then the thing will start talking. When you get down here 2.3 miles, get ready to make a right turn. Amen. You can't follow the GPS if it said 2.3 and you make a right turn in 1.6. Amen. It's going to start telling you, amen. Amen. I got the recalculator. You messing up. You need to turn around. You need to go further. It got to figure out something else. So the word no further means it means to follow. Amen. And so we are to follow the Lord. Amen. The Bible said that he led them by the right way. Can you shout hallelujah? The word no further means to give full attention to good God from glory and what God wants from, amen, from his church. He wants our attention because say praise the Lord. Sometimes we allow other stuff, the stuff in the world, we allow it to distract us. It gets our attention off of him. Good God from glory. Amen. And we get caught up in looking at other things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But if I'm going to know him fully, then I got to follow him. I got to give him full attention. Good God from glory. Amen. The word no further means it means, praise the Lord. Amen. To follow closely. Amen. The one that is always perfect. Amen. Side. The one that's always perfect. Amen. Walking by his side. It means further to be conforming our life. Amen. Into that person. In other words, what I just read is it means that you and I, we are to constantly be changing. Amen. We are allowing God to form us into the image of his son. Amen. As we grow in grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ, we are to become more and more like Christ. Amen. God wants to get his image back. Amen. Through the church. That is the image of Christ. So as we grow in grace. We are to constantly amen, be formed into the image of Christ. Uh, this is how uh uh, we ought to know him. Uh, amen. I said that Jesus is the way. Uh, amen. The Bible says, uh, amen. Paul began to write to Timothy. He said, but thou hast fully known uh, my doctrine and manner of life uh, and purpose and faith, uh, long suffering and charity and patience. Uh, but you followed my teachings uh, and my conduct. Uh, hallelujah. And faith and patience uh, and love and perseverance. Uh, amen. We got to learn how to follow him. Uh, hallelujah you praise the Lord. Amen. We can't get off track. We need not allow uh, things to get us off track. Can you shout glory to God? Because we, uh, because Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is. He is, he is the way. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. There is no other way. Amen. But Christ, amen, and praise God, amen, looking at today, amen, there are many, praise the Lord, who are going to be grace and amen, the doors of the church house, amen, because of it is Easter Sunday. Ah, God, I thank you. Amen. But listen, uh, amen, it need not to be just one day a year. Uh, we can't know him like that. Uh, amen. There has to be a relationship. Uh, but I'm so glad. Uh, I'm so glad that he gave me an ear to hear. Uh, amen. What the gospel is. Uh, amen. And I responded to the gospel. Uh, in faith. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. The Bible says uh, in the end of the Sabbath uh, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week uh, uh, came Mary Magdalene uh, uh, and the other Mary to the sea the sepulcher. Uh, and behold there was a great earthquake uh, for the angel of the Lord descended uh, from heaven and came and rolled back the stone uh, uh, from the door and sat upon it. Uh, uh, they didn't need to move it so that the Lord could get 
laid out. Uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, but it was moved so that, amen, that those on the outside uh, could see in uh, that the Savior had risen again. Uh, he had risen with power in his hand. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, thank God that he rose. Uh, he rose, praise God, for our justification uh, that we might have eternal life uh, through Christ Jesus. Uh, and I'm so glad today that I know him. Uh, I know him in the pardon of my sins uh, that no longer am I bound, uh, amen, by the sins of the world, uh, that I got freedom in Christ, uh, that he has redeemed my life, uh, amen, and then now, praise God, uh, that I'm a royal priest, uh, amen, and I'm part of a holy nation, uh, and I show forth the praises uh, of him that have called me out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. Uh, oh, what a great position, church, uh, uh, to be in today uh, when you are on the Lord's side, uh, when you're in Christ, uh, when your life is hid in Christ, uh, what a wonderful place to be uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, amen. I don't care what come. Uh, amen. The devil can't destroy your life. Uh, if you're hid in Christ, uh, amen, there may be some things come. Uh, he may buck you on this side and that side, uh, uh, but he can't destroy your life uh, because I'm hid. I'm hid in Christ. Uh, I'm hid, praise the Lord, uh, in Jesus Christ uh, because he is the way. Ah, the Bible says, uh, amen, down in verse 7, uh, amen, as the angel began to speak, uh, he says, go quickly and go quickly and tell his disciples uh, that he is risen from the dead and, and behold, he goeth before you uh, into Galilee. There you shall see him. Uh, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly, amen, from the sepulchre and with fear and great joy and did run and bring his disciples' word. Uh, amen. See, it's something about us. Uh, it's something about Jesus uh, and the resurrection uh, that should spark joy down in your heart. Uh, amen. Knowing, praise the Lord, uh, that when it, uh, you done went through hell on this side, uh, amen, that when you close your eyes on this side, uh, I got another place uh, where I don't have to worry about uh, sickness and disease uh, because Jesus conquered it all. Uh, he conquered death, uh, hell, and the grave. Uh, oh, grave, uh, where is your victory? Victory. Death, where is your sting? Can you shout hallelujah? Mm. For Jesus swallowed it up. Can you shout glory to God? Amen. They begin to have a party, it says, according to the poet, where when Jesus went into the tomb, amen, but then on the third day morning, amen, there was a shaking and a rumbling. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus got up with all power in his hand, and when he got up, he brought me. Can you shout glory to God? because I was dead in my sins but when he rose from the grave amen he brought me up to he brought salvation in other words he brought deliverance for me somebody give God a praise mm, hallelujah praise the Lord he said go tell them and spark joy down in their heart as they begin to go and spread the word and brothers and sisters we have to spread the good news that Jesus said amen and the Bible says and as they went to tell the disciples, uh, behold Jesus met them saying, uh, all hell, uh, and they came and held him by the feet uh, and began to worship him. Uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, the enemy thought it was all over. Amen. But praise God. Uh, he had you and I in mind. Uh, can you give God a praise? Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad uh, that Jesus is the way. Uh, I'm so glad uh, amen, that he brought salvation. I'm so glad that I've been delivered. I've been delivered from sin. I've been delivered from the chains of bondage. And now I have freedom in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's through the name of Jesus. It's through that shed blood. I have a relationship. I know him. I appreciate him. I honor him. Amen. I'm following him. Do I have any witnesses here? Amen. That you really know him. Do you fully know him? Good God from glory, does he have your attention? Uh, amen. Can he speak to you in the midnight hour? Amen. Will you obey him? Uh, amen. Can he call you? Praise the Lord. Uh, can he call you by your name? Will you respond? Uh, shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is. He is the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So they begin to worship Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. They begin to worship him and celebrate. Amen. Our risen Lord. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Because, uh, amen, at one point things had looked dim. Amen. But praise God, Jesus had already talked about that I'm going to the grave. Uh, amen. But on the third day, I'm going to rise again. Uh, amen. And sometimes, uh, amen, it's hard, seems hard for us uh, uh, to accept the word, uh, what the word says. Uh, man, but praise God, amen, we, we, do, we just have to follow and obey what the word says. Uh, amen. It don't need, you don't need to analyze it. Just believe it. Amen. Praise the Lord. When Zacchaeus, not Zacchaeus, when Jairus' daughter had gotten sick, amen, and they had sinned and told Jesus, amen, to come and heal the daughter. Amen. After a time, uh, some time passed, daughter passed away. Jesus said, amen, don't fear, but have faith in God. And see, brothers and sisters, that's what we have to do. We have to have faith to know that he is the way. Amen. Praise God that if he has said it, that he will perform his word. Amen. To know means that it means to understand. It means to perceive. Amen. It means to realize that the very sure, amen, that I'm very sure of this thing. In other words, it means also, it means to experience. It means to have an acquaintance with, to recognize and to acknowledge. It also means to remember. Amen. You need to remember, praise the Lord. Amen. What God has done for you. You need to remember how he has brought you out. You need to remember how many battles uh, he has brought you through. Uh, you need to remember, praise the Lord, uh, how many close calls you had uh, that he did not allow, uh, amen, to overtake you. Uh, you need to remember, praise the Lord, uh, amen, how many times uh, when you didn't see a way, uh, amen, that Jesus, um, amen, Jesus opened up doors for you uh, and for me. Uh, you need to remember, praise the Lord, uh, and as you remember, uh, amen, spend some time thanking him, uh, spend some time worshiping him. Uh, spend some time giving him glory for the thing that he has done. Uh, why? Because I recognize uh, that he is the way. Uh, amen. I've tried some other things. Uh, amen. But they did not work. Uh, amen. I tried. Uh, I mean, I tried some other people. Uh, they didn't have the answer that I need. Uh, why? Because Jesus is the way. Uh, amen. We have to come back to the one. Uh, amen. That knows all about us. Uh, we have to come back to the one uh, that made us. Uh, amen. Amen. I'm made in the image of my father. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. And he knows. Uh, amen. He knows all about my inner workings. Uh, he knows about uh, every emotion that I'll experience in this life. Uh, he knows about it. Uh, he's acquainted with all of my ways. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? So he knows. Uh, amen. He knows when my heart is sad. Uh, he knows how to speak to my spirit, man. Uh, can you shout glory to God? Uh, amen. When I'm cast down. Uh, amen. The Bible Bible said when men are cast down uh, that there is a lifting up. Uh, he knows how to lift me up uh, when burdens have pressed me down. Uh, he knows because he is the way, uh, because he has walked this way. Uh, Jesus has come uh, and the Bible says it like this uh, that there is no temptation uh, that have taken you uh, that's not common unto man uh, but with the temptation uh, amen. he has made a way for you to escape uh, that you may be able to bear it. Uh, amen. Thank God uh, Amen. That he gave me enough grace uh, that while I was in the thing, uh, while I was in the fire, amen, I was able to sustain. Uh, I was able to hold up uh, because Jesus was keeping me. Uh, amen. He was keeping my mind. Uh, he was keeping my body. Amen. And he did not allow, uh, amen, me to get so overwhelmed. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? But he kept me. Uh, amen. Because he is the way. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's the way. Yes. He is the way. Yes. So the Bible says, uh, amen, that as they begin to run, amen, and they begin to worship him, they begin to wrap their feet, uh, their arms around his feet, uh, and now when they were going, uh, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed uh, the chief priests uh, all things that were done. Uh, and when they were assembled with the elders uh, and had taken counsel uh, and gave large sums of money, money to the soldier saying say ye 